Look at that monster, folks. <laughs> All right, folks, I just kind of want to show you what I'm looking at. That right there is the shark on the side imaging. But as you can see, we have fish up in the water column. You can see them coming up in the water column. So I know that they're snapper down there. They just don't want to commit. They don't want to eat very well today. We've caught some, but haven't caught a ton. But as you can see here, this is a new area that I'm fishing. Let me kind of give you an idea of where we're at. So this will give you a real good idea. There's a ton of ledges in this area. As you can see, we, we um, went through some, some ledges here. We fished all the way through here. Now we've gotten to this area and there's a bunch of stuff in here. We'll fish in here and see what we can do. But basically, like I said, um, we're just basically fishing in 45, 50 feet of water and seeing what we can get see there's more stuff here so there's a ton of stuff in this area and uh but that's that's kind of what i'm looking for is uh, stuff like that on the navionics you see the ledge here you can see the ledge off to our side here again you can see the fish coming up in the water column and there's actually fish up in the mid column because we're using a lot we're doing a lot of chumming but we have a slower tide today, so I think that's kind of hurting us too, is that we have a very long incoming tide, and I think that's hurting us just a little bit. Offshore, I definitely like a moving tide more than I do inshore. Inshore, I want that really slow tide, but offshore, I want a, I want a decent moving tide to uh, get those fish up and roaming around, because it doesn't run as hard out here as it does inshore. So always remember that if you're going to go fish offshore you definitely want to have some moving water today was a day that we could all go so we just made it happen and, and again we're catching fish don't get me wrong but it is a little bit of slower bite another gag of course no it's a big red oh nice Holy cow That's a keeper. Whee! Good stuff. Hi. Thanks for the assist. Good job. My twinkle toes <laughs> got it done. <laughs> About time. Good job, brother. Fish. That's a good one. Whew. He spit up some chummers. Well, folks, that just goes to show you that you don't have to be in 120 feet of water to catch really nice keeper red grouper. We're in 41 feet, 41 feet, and Mike got it done. Eli, on the other hand, what are you doing up there, Eli? Uh, I'm about to get one. Eli lost a really good one right off the bat. And here's the And Mike would have caught. That's Eli's jig in there. Is it really? Yep. Uh, that, there you go. It is. <laughs> <laughs> That's my fish. <laughs> I'll give you your jig back. <laughs> there you go, folks. That just goes to show you that these fish, when they're hungry, they're hungry. Boy, that is a nice one. 41 feet of water. When we first got to this spot, Eli lost one that was a monster. I might, he might be close to keeping. Hey, shrinking. But that's pretty respectable. We're only fishing in 41 feet of water, folks. And the bite's crazy. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh! oh! He didn't break me off, though. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. Get him, Mike! Uh-oh. Of course. Where were you last year? Gag? Yeah. Nice one. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That would have kept. Good job, Mike. That's a nice one. I've been getting asked a lot in the last couple episodes about our gear, what we use. 
Um, <clears throat> there's a couple different rods that I use. I use my uh, custom spinning rod from Fletcher Custom Rods. It's a seven foot six, 15 to 30, heavy action. Uh, lightweight but powerful. I love it. I've got it uh, paired up with the Pen Battle 3 with um, our 10 pound Tampa Bay Fishing Channel braided line. Then I've got our uh, a Red Bone 7.6 and I've got 10, our 15 pound braid on that. I'm sorry, 15 pound braid on this one, 10 pound braid on that one with a Pen Conflict. And then on my conventional rod, which I have not used in a while, is um, is a Fletcher Custom Rod with a 20 pound uh, braided line and 20 pound leader with a top line size 3000 conventional reel. Now those conventional reels, if you're interested in them, it's, la it, it's been a great reel. I have friends that bought them. Um, you can buy them straight from China actually for like 89 bucks and they work great. So if you're interested in that, I can, I can put down a link to where to buy those. No, I don't make anything on them. Um, but, uh, but they're great rods, great reels. Chad uses Fletcher Custom Rods and um, he uses the Bocas, the Quantum Bocas, which you can no longer get. He loves those, so he buys them. He buys any that he can find. But basically, that's what we use for gear. We're always using 20 pound leader. We use our jigs all the time. We use the Huggy jigs, the Stewie jigs, the Slacker jigs. Uh, so it just with flat smasher jigs out here sometimes, just depending on the circumstances. But you want to present baits differently. Everybody's using something different right now, and everybody's caught stuff. Mike's using a Huggy. Eli, what are you using? Uh, Stewie? Okay. Stewie. So him and I are both using Stewies. But that's that's the typical gear that we use. Um, and it works great. I like the lighter stuff, just me personally, because I like the challenge of it. So as I stated before, let me start that over. I have um, Eli from High Sources and then Mike from Levin Law Group. So, so Mike, kind of let the people know what kind of law do you guys cover it at your office? So we do a bunch of different stuff. Uh, everything from real estate closings, buying, selling houses, uh, car accidents, personal injury, distressed debt, consumer protection stuff. We do a lot of different stuff. Um, what we were just talking about earlier was insurance. When you buy a boat, when you're making sure that you're covered for if something bad happens on your boat, and that's a conversation that I get a lot with friends about, you know, how much insurance should I have? Do I have enough insurance? Um, and, and really, because we deal with insurance claims for a living, a lot of times we have a perspective on that that a lot of people don't get from their insurance agents. So if you have any questions about, you know, should I get this umbrella? Should I attach it to my boat? Should I get... Uh, you know stacked coverages there's a lot to know with with auto and, and boat insurances you know feel free to give me a call I'll be happy to talk it through with you and, and help you make a decision insurance is expensive you don't necessarily want to buy a whole bunch of stuff you don't need or won't use um, so we can help you kind of make those decisions so that if you ever do need it you'll have what you need and what you want and if uh, you know God forbid you ever have somebody coming after you you're protected so feel free to give us a call and we'll be happy to sit down and talk with you. Would you catch a fish already? <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> catch your own fish. But anyway, Mike's been able to take care of some of my friends and, and I've referred them, uh, referred people to him and they're really good people, really good guys. Mike loves to fish, so he loves the outdoors. I'm a better lawyer than I am fisherman, I promise you. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> uh, I've had a decent day today. Yeah, you've done good. You've got the, the best red grouper. I think that's the first time I've caught a keeper gag on the boat, by the way. It's just that. No. Oh, you caught a big you caught a big one on one of the first trips that we went on. Oh, yeah. Oh, I feel yeah. better now. But we've been catching a ton of these today, folks. Ton, ton, ton of these. I wish every other fish would bite like those. <laughs> we would have probably had two to three hundred fish. Yeah. 
so basically what Mike is saying is that um, they've, they've actually uh, represented boaters. Uh, so it's, you know, boaters, fishermen, they, they, people have been accused of DU, uh, BUIs and uh, they were able to gather the evidence that they needed to help the person fight the charge and win. So if for some reason you get into trouble, let's hope nobody that watches our show gets into trouble, but sometimes things happen. If you need a lawyer, reach out to Mike. I have their, um, I'll have their contact information down. One thing I'll add is that what I, one thing I've noticed in the last couple of weeks is the Coast Guard has been uh, making a lot of arrests in Tampa Bay. I've gotten a bunch of phone calls. I've had some meetings with people. Um, they're all over boats right now doing safety inspections and then doing D BUI arrests. Uh, so just be careful, be aware that they're out there uh, and, uh, and that's what they're looking for. So. Uh, you know, always be safe when you're on the water and be aware that the Coast Guard is uh, is out looking for people. I have a rock. Come on, Eli. I thought it was going to be bigger than Me that. Me too. That is a behemoth. <laughs> That's a big boy. God bless America. I'm pretty sure that's a big bull. You got your one. I got my one. <laughs> you got your one. <laughs> I got my one. <laughs> well, we caught a lot of fish today. We caught a lot of fish, but just not big, big fish. We caught a couple of nice gags that would have been keepers. Caught a lot of trigger fish. Caught a lot of small red grouper. Caught some snapper. You got your nice red grouper. That was a nice one. You're Stole welcome. it from Eli. <laughs> Stole it from poor Eli. Poor Eli. First fish he hooks, he loses it, and then he catches it about 30 minutes later, and it has a jig in his mouth. But anyway, I want to say thanks again, guys, for coming. Had a blast, as usual. Great time. Yep. Great time. And uh, it, like I said, if you guys need a lawyer, look up Mike with Levin Law Group. I'll have his contact information below. And if you need a jack of all trades, he does everything from janitorial of commercial buildings to uh, he's actually redoing our laundry room. Uh, he does remodels, all kinds of stuff. Get in touch with Eli from High Sources. So again, thanks guys. Appreciate it. Thanks Enjoy it. Me. Enjoy having you guys on the Thank boat. Thank you. And uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned a little bit from this. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side.